You are looking at London, England. The Toronto Raptors getting set to take on the Orlando Magic Thursday. We are here early. Paul Jones and Sherman Hamilton. And funny, Queen Elizabeth didn't get our invite, Sherman. We're, crib. we're here anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sherm, always great to be with the team wherever they go in terms of travel but this a special experience being in london england yeah no question about it you know to get a chance to travel across the other side of the world and see some things and and you know really just get out of your comfort zone and it's always a great thing i think traveling is one of the best experiences anybody can have in their life it's no different for nba guys well sherm you had the chance to travel through your playing career and there's there's kind of a mentality to it i mean you're here on a business trip but at the same time you want to take in the sights and that's one of the things I kind of regret when I think back to my playing days you know you got to understand that when you get these chances to go across and see different people different cultures you've got to take it in and you've got to experience it and I think this is a great opportunity for these guys yeah. to actually get out of themselves and and their families and allow them to see some different people and how the the world operates hey they're in a global situation yeah. these guys understand that the world watches them now at this point the NBA has done a great job promoting that so you've got to understand how to accept different cultures and how to be involved in different cultures. I think it's a great experience. Well, well Sherm, we saw, we got on the plane uh, Sunday night in Toronto, left around 10, 11 uh, Sunday night. We saw the team getting on the yeah. plane with a whole bunch of people that we normally don't see getting on with the team. Families, yeah. uh, moms, dads, kids, spouses. As you said, it's an opportunity for them to be on a business trip, yet take in some of the sites and have some great family time yeah. in a new spot. And we can all understand and appreciate what it's like to experience things like this with your family. And for the kids that are going, they might not remember it tomorrow, but they'll remember it when they're older. And those are the experiences that you can't trade for anything. And I think it's a great thing to have the families together and to have the kids interact, to have the wives, you know, the parents. That's a great thing. And I think the organization did a good job in allowing these guys to really take this trip as a business trip, but allow them to be human and family oriented in a situation like this. Well, that's why we're here so early. Now, after the game Saturday night in Philadelphia, before boarding the plane back to Toronto, a lot of the players spoke about the imminent experience here in London. Um, but I think it's just, you know, for guys, we're all taking our families over there. We're all going to be together. Um, it's kind of a, you know, you're away, but, you know, you're together. So just take it in and everybody just understand that it's, you know, it's a business trip. But, you know, it, it, take the experience in. But, you know, we got to make sure we go and play the game. Um, it's going to be fun. It's the first time over there, so it's going to be an experience. Is there anything in particular you'd like to see when you're there or go? Or? Yeah, I want to see Big Ben. So go out there and take some pictures, see what it's like. All right, those were the players' thoughts, Sherm, on uh, what's going on in London. Look, the NBA has gone global. I was in Barcelona in 1992 with the one and only original Dream Team covering that Olympics, and you could see the game starting to spread out from there, its popularity. And now there are games in Africa, China, Mexico City. The NBA has truly, truly gone global. Yeah, and you look at these players and their branding abilities. It's not just limited to North America. Right. It's worldwide. And, and I think the NBA has done a great job of really promoting their product, their players, and the game itself. And, and now we're seeing the results of that. So there's nowhere in the world that these players can go that won't know about right. NBA basketball. And I think that they've taken advantage of that. And, and part of that relationship is to give back to those different countries and different cultures. And I think this is why the NBA travels so much. I think it's a great concept. And the reality is, we're all in one world, yeah. so we're all going to have to interact at some point. I think the NBA is doing a great job leading in that charge. The NBA All-Star Game will be in Toronto in about a month, and there will be representatives from the media, over 200 countries easily packed into Toronto. And Sherm, this is not the first time that the Toronto contingent has come abroad and come to London. They were here in March of 2011, two games against the then New Jersey Nets. One of them, a, a roaring, or as they would say in England, a smashing <laughs> overtime game where the Raptors scored their highest point total in club history. We're looking forward to another game like that. Well, another solid game against a playoff caliber team in Orlando. Well, if you if you know the fan base in London and how they appreciate the game of football, which we call soccer, they're pretty rabid. <laughs> and when they love their sports, they really support it. And it's no surprise that the Raptors and the New Jersey Nets at that point did a great job in terms of performing and showing this crowd that the game of basketball is global. And, and the fans appreciated that. And I think if we can 
just get the queen to invite us in for a little cup of tea before the game. Yeah, it's chilly. Yeah, this trip will be complete, huh? <laughs> Business starts tomorrow with practice. Today, Monday in London, a day off for the team. The game again Thursday, 3 o'clock Eastern time against the Orlando Magic. You can see it on Sportsnet and hear it on TSN 1050. But follow us and the people over at Raptors.com all week for information here in London.